Hi everyone, Jamie here. Thanks for watching today. So I thought I'd share the lovely new collection from Made to Surprise. This is the pop-up wiper book collection. Bit of a mouthful there. For me anyway. <laughs> so Sam will be live at 12.30 on Craft Stash, showing you the collection in more detail and all the samples made with this collection. So if you're new to the channel, I'm the design team member for Made to Surprise and I get to work with all these lovely products, which I'm really grateful for. Um, so I'm just gonna give you a brief overview of the collection. Sam will have more details on her channel, which I'll link below. And as I said, I'll go through the collection um, and then I'll show you my samples at the end. So there are two mechanisms for this collection and I love the fact that it's been split into two parts. So if you're not a fan of kinetic cards or you're not comfortable making them, then you don't necessarily have to have this die. Um, this will still work and stand alone as it is. So you've got the pop-up book mechanism die set. So this forms the shape of the book and you've got the four layers there. You've then got these pieces that help pop the pages up and help support the book. And then to accompany this, you have the wiper mechanism. So in addition to this, then you have, you can have this in your card and the wiper will pop up either side of the pages or you can trim it down, just have one but you'll see that in the samples in a little bit. You've got this square die here then, which is, um, I've used it to add additional sentiments, but you could use this as photos. You've got some heart embellishments, and then you've got this saddle piece. Um, this is to attach onto this piece here and helps it sort of um, slide in and out of the card, but also as a piece to build up on. So that's the two mechanisms. We've then got four stamps. So we have with sympathy. So we have this lovely stamp here with the feathers. And I believe Sam and her mum spent a lot of time coming up with these verses or poems. Um, and I think they're really lovely. So you have that one there. Then you have the happy birthday. So you've got this really nice image here with the balloons and cake and the confetti and that's really nice to colour in. You've then got this new baby. Apologies for the glare. I'm filming this quite early in the morning and it's very grey here in South Wales so I've had to um, put my lamp on and it's just shining off the acetate there so apologies for that. Um, so that yes, then we've got this new baby stamp. I've got the stalk there, the um, bib, the baby girl, the socks and the teddy bear hanging on the washing line. And again, this is a really lovely image to colour or it could be just a standalone piece. You could heat emboss this. Um, it doesn't have to be coloured. Um, yeah, and I think that, that one's really nice. And then we've got this new home. So again, another image for you to colour or heat emboss. Um, this really cute sort of cottage or house with the fence there and the trees. I think that's really nice. So as an addition to the stamps, we've then got these five dies. So we've got the baby edition dies. So we've got the deck, the pin, the bottle and, and the bib there. So these are really nice, um, just standalone pieces, but also accompany those stamps. So I'll just show you the size on some of them. So they're really nice, large oops, dies there. Then we've got the balloons. So we've got them in four different shapes and it's got the stitched edging around and that's followed throughout the dies. You've then got the sympathy editions. So we've got these three fe feathers and this flower. 
and then the new home editions and you've got these three flowers with a stitched edge so that's the the two largest dies this so again a really nice size um, I've used them to cut cardstock and I've also used them on some flower forming foam so you can see the difference with those and then this just goes across the whole collection so we have the bookmark and wax seal stamp and die set so you've got these two dies here as your bookmarks and then you've got two styles of font with the numbers and letters and then you've got a new chapter begins this belongs to xoxo the heart flower and signs and then you've got these wax seals so you have a plain one there and then one with love so as I said a really nice collection there and Sam will go into more detail and the idea behind the collection on her channel. I think this is a great collection to have in your stash. It covers a lot of occasions. You've got the new home, sympathy, birthday and baby. So that covers quite a lot. Um, but again these are nice standalone pieces that will help to build your collection. So I'm going to go through the samples that I've made with you next and I have filmed this video in two parts um, because I had to meet my sending deadline so I filmed the samples before sending and now I'm filming the collection as a whole um, so apologies if I do repeat myself in any way. Um, I will go through all of the poems or verses as you might want to call them um, on my samples and you'll have a little bit more detail there. So let me show you the samples that I've made. So I've created this card using the pop-up book mechanism die set. So I haven't paid a lot of attention to the decoration on the front as it's um, to be displayed open. So I've created this new baby card so on the front it says this book belongs to new baby aria. So this is my niece here and I've added her on there. Um, really bright and colourful card. Love all the flowers and the hearts there. So I think that one's turned out lovely. So again just using the pop-up book mechanism die set. So I've created a sympathy card. So it says so sorry for your loss on the front there. This is from the 3D Delights collection. And then we have the With Sympathy. With sympathy. Sending love and hugs along to you today to say I'm sorry for your loss in a, in a sincere and heartfelt way. Time is a great healer, so let the tears come and go. I will always be here for you. I just want you to know. Isn't that a lovely um, verse or poem? Um, I believe Sam and her mum came up with these so they must have worked hard on those and I've just heat embossed the um, feathers there and also the sentiment added some uh, some nouveau drops um, die cut some feathers using vellum and some mirror cardstock So I think that's um, a lovely sympathy card. I know that we don't like to make them and we don't make them very often. And I, I for one, sort of struggle with those style cards. Um, but I think this is a really, a really nice one. So using the pop-up book mechanism as well as the wiper mechanism die set, I've created this birthday card. So on the front there it's got the tag, candles, um, with love which is the wax seal die which says birthday boy and you open it up and then the balloons pop out so if you do a single wiper it does stand as so um, if you do a double then you have to display it open like this so I've dry embossed the white panels there using the linen embossing folder they've added the four layers of cardstock there 
and I've used the balloons in the orange, purple and holographic card and I've die cut those out and then I coloured this with the Copic marker. So this is a, another new baby card. Um, I've just put ABC on the front there using the chunky alphabet dies. This is a double wiper and you open it like so. So you've got the three ducks on the top there and some hearts on the bottom. Um, I've coloured this using Copic markers again. So we have the new baby there. So your new baby has arrived, a new addition to love, teach and grow. There will be tears and tantrums, but keep looking ahead as you have so much more to show. Another lovely poem there. And I've used the um, bright and beautiful paper pad then for this one. And it closes like so. It does fall flat. There is a bit of bulk, so I would suggest using Sam's um, box envelopes to create um, a box for these style cards. And then we have another wiper style card. So this is a double wiper and it's over for your new home. So enjoy your new home and creating happy memories. And you open it up. So I've created my own stencil. So I've just fussy cut um, a cloud shape into white cardstock. And I've used that then to create this background. Um, I've added the three keys on the top there and that's from the Simple Pop-Ups uh, collection and so is the Home Sweet Home there on the bottom. So this can be used as well for um, photographs. So it says New Home, you have the keys so let, so let the fun begin, today's the day you're moving in. Fill all those rooms with laughter and tears. And make lots of memories to last throughout the years. I'm really pleased with how that one's turned out. And then lastly, using the pop-up book mechanism die set, I've created this. So I do have a tutorial on how to create this. And this should be going up on Sunday. So keep an eye out for that. So I've created a display gift bag I've used the um, book die here to create the aperture and then I've made a stand so you can pop your card on there like so and I'll just bring that up a little bit closer for you so I've used the new home editions um flower die set here to create these and i've used fl flower forming foam added some stamens some nouveau drops um the butterfly there the ribbon and the heart and this one has to be my favorite just because of the colors i just absolutely love this pattern paper this is from the Creative Cuts collection. It's no longer available in physical form, but you can buy this in digital download. So that just fits in there nicely. And the stand also, and just a little handy bag there. And the sentiments I've used are from the pop-up bouquets collection and I've got I'm glad I picked you sorry I'm glad I picked a friend like you happy blooming birthday so as I said I'm I'm well I'm really chuffed with how that one's turned out so there's all my samples ready to send off to Sam I think this is a really lovely collection it's very versatile um, you can do the single or the double wiper or you don't necessarily have to have that mechanism You can create these lovely cards as well just with the pop-up book mechanism You can also head over to Sam's channel mixed up craft 
where she'll show you the collection in more detail and all the samples that she's created and all the products are linked in the description box below so if you want to go and check out the collection click on one of those and that'll take you there so thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye